Good morning, today I'm talking about Herbert, that was a German philosopher and educationalist. And for me, of course, he is of the great importance and uh, basically for the humanity as well, because he brought a lot of ideas that were not there before him. Uh, he was, uh, let's say, kind of prominent educator since uh, he was in, in, in his twenties, because already in the 1802 he was um, he was famous um, because of writing on educational topics, uh, not just philosophy. For, of course, he wrote in German. He wrote such works, let's say, as Pasolotti's idea of an ABC of perception. He wrote the, on the aesthetic representation of the world as the principal function of education. Uh, then general pedagogics derived from the purpose of education. And from that works we see that Basically, the idea of educational teaching is central to Herbert's theory of education, which is founded on experience and on philosophical reflection. And like practical and theoretical educationalists before him, Herbert also make a distinction between education, like from Latin educatio, educatio and teaching, uh, from Latin instructio. Education means shaping the development of character with a view to the improvement of man. And teaching represents the world, conveys fresh knowledge, develops existing aptitudes and imparts useful skills. Herbert's reforming pedagogics revolutionized the relationship between education and teaching, and the new paradigm of pedagogical thinking and pedagogical action was thus created. Before Herbert, uh, it was unusual to combine the concepts of education and teaching, and consequently questions pertaining to education and teaching were initially pursued independently. So only at the second stage was an attempt to make attempt made to determine how teaching could be supported by education and education could be supported by teaching. So Herbert and the country took the bold step of subordinating the concept of teaching to that of education uh, in his educational theory. As he saw it, external influences such as the punishment or shaming the pupils were not the most important instruments of education, and on the contrary, proper teaching was the only sure means of promoting education that was bound to prove successful. And in Herbert's own words, teaching is the central activity of education. His own thinking, personal experience and experimentation convinced Herbert of the astonishing effects of educational teaching. The individual who acquires a versatile range of interests through teaching will be capable of doing with inner ease everything that he wishes to do after mature reflection. He will always keep his uh, ethical idea clearly in mind and in his progress to, uh, towards the attainment of that ideal he will be able to rely on his own pleasure and further learning and on the dependable strength of his own character. Uh, Herbert's activity as the private tutor in Bern and educational advisor in Bremen and professor of philosophy and pedagogics at the universities of Göttingen and Königsberg and as the head of an experimental pedagogical institute attached to the University of Königsberg was guided at all times by the concept of educational thinking and teaching. We shall um, examine a bit uh, what, what, what was he was, uh, was a concept of pedagogical science. Mm, a Swiss student friend from Herbert Siena study days found him a post as a private tutor in Switzerland in the year 1797. Here, uh, Herbert joined up with a circle of like-minded friends of whom Pastelotti's educational ideas met with an enthusiastic um, audience. So personal contacts with Pastelotti were also established and in a publication dating from 1802, Herbert recalls his personal experience of Pastelotti for the benefit of his readers. Quote, um, a dozen children between the ages of five and eight were summoned to school at an unusual hour in the evening. I was afraid that I might find him, they find them ill disposed and so witness the failure of the experiment which I wanted to observe. But the children came with no trace of reluctance and lively activity continued on beta to the end. He wrote, Herbert wrote it in 1982. Uh, so then Herbert goes on to describe how Pastelotti encouraged the children to occupy the mouth and their hands simultaneously, how he used repetition as a technique of speech training and at the same time gave the children materials to hold which were intended to make it easier for them to learn the skill of writing. The experience which the young private teacher br brought back with him from Switzerland was not uh, the only root of his educational theory. He was also stimulated by the pedagogical ideas of Fichte and Pestalozzi, which were soon to assume an original personal character in a thinker of Herbert's stature. Um, Herbert himself described two contrasting roots of pedagogical reflection. The first is that of analytical pedagogical thought. 
that begins with his own experience and experimentation. It leads initially to empirical pedagogics and then on to a philosophical theory of education. And this route enables the concepts which dominate the range of experience of the person who starts out as a layman to be explained in increasing depth and to be made clear through an ongoing process of philosophical reflection. This route of pedagogical thinking makes philosophy dependent if only partially on pedagogics. The second route, that of speculative thinking, establishing and synthesis, starts out from the principles of a philosophical system which already exists and develops a theoretical and practical doctrine of education from them. So in this way, pedagogics became dependent on philosophy and in particular on psychology and ethics. And in his uh, educational publications, the young Hebert preferred with few exceptions the analytical pedagogical mode of thought. However, once he had developed his philosophical system in the middle years, of his life and give it a comprehensive expression, he allowed the speculative mode of thought that establishes synthesis to take priority. However, Herbert was thereafter unable to present an overall and the conclusive view of his educational philosophy. In the two roads of pedagogical thinking, the ends and the means of education are both discussed. The investigation of the ends in so, in, um, uh, is so coordinated with ethics, while the study of, uh, of the means has a psychological Slant. In his general pedagogics, his central pedagogical work, published in 1906, Herbert described the duplication of content that is encountered in both models of thought. Um, yes, uh, so Herbert's complete pedagogical system would accordingly seem to consist of two sections linked with ethics and psychologically, psychology respectively, and both sections can be investigated analytically or by synthesis, and the analytical and synthetic modes are contrasting types of thinking, of course, so thank you very much for your uh, attention, see you the next time, write your question below.